I'm getting ready to wash my face first because I didn't do it yet. And then I'm going to get ready to clean my bedroom. But I'm going to show you guys my room before, obviously. And then you guys are going gonna, gonna to clean together and then I'm going to show you it after. I finished the bedroom. She's looking nice and clean. Closet is much better. Pop looks, oops, a little more organized. I eventually would like to get bins and stuff for up there and that stuff probably won't stay there either. Um, where's that? I did go ahead and wipe the window seals and I disinfected every single knob and light switch. So there's that, my little nightstand area, bed. Those are coming with me. Bedtime essentials, chocolate, also coming with me. Not on all this bunch of It's 9.44 in the morning. I got all this energy. I was trying to watch YouTube and be cute. Baby, I'm finna put some tunes on. I'm gonna have to do the kitchen. I'm gonna start with the pantries because that'll be easier. And then I'm gonna move on everything else because everything needs organized and clean. So let's just get straight into it. My playlist for today and yesterday is this is called Hit Rewind. It's just a Spotify made playlist. Let's start. Clayton, what you doing? Right. Back in love. It's a new day. Oh, that was really bright. But I'm determined to finish this kitchen because it needs it real bad. So I'm gonna give y'all a little before and I'm just sure after since we already cleaned this of the kitchen together. I just need to do the dishes, wipe down all the countertops, clean out the microwave. And this needs to be wiped down and organized because it looks like it's starting to collect dust. We've only been here two months. Good morning. I just finished my morning journal prompts and I figured since I'm still in the mindset that I want to go ahead and do my goals and reflecting for the month. Um, please excuse the fact that I still look crusty and I still sound crusty. This is my first time talking all morning. Um, I prefer to do my morning journaling and my informational reading first thing in the morning because if I don't and I won't but so I haven't left bed except to pee. I can't remember if I've ever talked about it but the way I set my goals is actually if I get on here lying to y'all let me double check okay I have 
my yearly goals that don't necessarily have a time period I guess you can say just goals that I want to complete before the end of the year and then I have my quarterly goals and my quarterly goals kind of help me divide my yearly goals so I set goals for the year my quarterly goals are a little more time specific and for me my quarters are four months instead of three months because I feel like four months is just realistic for me I know some people do do four quarters three months I do the opposite and then so yearly goals quarterly goals monthly goals I take two or three of those quarterly goals and bring them focus on those for the month and then my weekly goals are kind of like habits to help me build that monthly goal so yeah and then I also have like actual habits on top of the things I need to do every day to complete my goal sometimes they go hand in hand sometimes they're the complete opposite it just depends on how I'm feeling that month I already set my habits for the month sorry I'm trying to flip through my book to make sure I'm really telling you how it is Okay, so for example, this past week, weekly goals were to read a chapter of The Body Keeps Score Every Day. The Body Keeps the Score, sorry. That's my current self-help book. Yoga every evening to kind of start my night routine. To eat breakfast and lunch because sometimes I can slack on both, especially lunch. And I'm trying to form better eating habits because those were my weekly goals. They're kind of habits in their self. So obviously it gives you guys a better view. But I have my three goals up here. And then for every day, I just have what I need to do. And I cross it out if I do it. I actually need to mark last night's. I did pretty good this week, considering I started all this on a Tuesday. Sometimes if I didn't really do what I was supposed to do the week before, I'll carry stuff over. Same for the monthly goals, because sometimes things get in the way or it wasn't really the vibe and so i'll change goals like mid-month or a weekend like okay this isn't gonna work for this month or you know things aren't really happening the way i want them to be so let me move things around to accommodate me because i feel like goals should be obtainable and if in that moment you said those goals they're not obtainable i change them because sometimes shit doesn't work out like one of my goals for example the apartment it was my goal for the year, but also specifically um, January, February, because that's where we were. That's when we were looking. And if something would have came up, I would have had a an emergency, and the money I had for the apartment now had to go to something else. Then I would have to change that goal or push it back because other things came up to prevent me from being able to go through with it. So I'm a firm believer of changing goals to fit what i'm doing currently editing but what's so crazy about that is yesterday i literally listened to a podcast episode by leah it's called chosen child morning, where she was talking about rewriting a script like if something doesn't turn out the way something doesn't go the way that you plan you can replan it or in her words you could rewrite the script and i just thought that was like that was so crazy because like i like literally just listened to something about it yesterday and that's literally how I live my life and yes I eat Twizzlers don't come for me I don't know if to fit what I'm doing makes sense but to fit the the time period I don't know I think I think you guys I think you guys are getting it but I'm gonna go ahead set my monthly goals um do some reflecting and all that good stuff When it comes to my habits, I'm a habit stacker. Um, I feel like that's just easiest for me because I always try to throw myself all the way in and then I get overwhelmed and I don't do anything. And so I'll start with two habits at the beginning of the month. And then the third week I'll add a new habit. No, the second week I'll add a new habit, third week a new habit. And so by that final week, I should be doing all four things that I picked out at the beginning of the month that I wanted to do. So I feel like if you're like me and you have a hard time sticking to stuff, start with one or two things. And it doesn't even have to be every week. When you feel comfortable enough with that specific habit, add a new habit. 
and just keep going like that. I don't, I think I heard a YouTuber say it. Um, I th also think I heard other YouTubers say that they got it from Atomic Habits. Um, so, that's kind of where I pulled my inspiration from. Same thing with the quarterly goals. I actually think I was talking to Melodia and she was talking about how she breaks down her goals. And I was like, that's literally so smart. Because sometimes you can't set goals for the whole year because you realistically don't know what's going to happen until it gets closer to that time or until it happens. So that's why I think the quarterly goals are good for me. I could think, okay, first four months, what do I want to accomplish? And like I said, life changes, things change. So of course my goals get changed around with them to accommodate what I'm doing in that time period. I'm gonna go ahead and find some monthly reflections. I get all my journal prompts on Pinterest. I have a journal prompt, um, what is that? Pin board? Board. I have a journal prompt board, but it's in a bigger board and it's personal, so it's locked. But if you guys are interested, I can definitely create a separate journal prompt um, section for you guys if you have a hard time finding prompts you want to do.